we even actually have to be a doctor to help people. People are obsessed with Hirsch indices, with uh, impact factors. Do not uh, listen to toxic people when they tell you that you will not succeed because you are too old, you are a woman, or any other reason. Mm. Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Walk and Talk on Onco Daily. My name is Tatev Markarian, and I'm your host as always. And our guest for today is Dr. Maria Babak. Dr. Babak, can you please introduce yourself? Sure. Hi, everyone. My name is Maria Babak. I'm assistant professor and head of the drug discovery lab at City University of Hong Kong. Thanks for having me. Thank you for accepting our invitation. Dr. Babak, we're just going to take a little walk and I will be asking you a couple of silly questions, fun, a bit personal maybe. So nothing professional, nothing career-wise, just some fun and easygoing time. Mm -hmm. You okay with it? Mm -hmm. Then let's get started. The first question for today is what inspires you in life or in work in general? Uh, in general, a lot of things and a lot of people inspire me and uh, uh, usually I'm very excited to look at the career path and life path of some very interesting people. Sometimes I even watch uh, this kind of uh, interviews or shows on YouTube where they talk about the inspiring people. So they, they, they are really interesting for me. And besides that, I also am inspired by art. So I'm a very, very artsy person. So I like to go to the museums and concerts and uh, I, I get inspired from this. Yeah, so nice to know. Maybe this interview will be someone's inspiration. I uh, hope so. You said people. Mm -hmm. Can you like name someone, most, someone that you've been most inspired by maybe? Oh, definitely. Easy. I'm most inspired by my uh, postdoc supervisor, who is a professor at the National University of Singapore, Prof. Uh, Vihan Ang. So he is an amazing person because uh, he had a major career switch. Uh -huh. So he was uh, in the Navy actually for many years wow. and made a great career there. And then he decided to be a chemist and then he just quit his job in the Navy and then just started his PhD suddenly. And uh, of course it was very difficult for him <laughs> to find a supervisor, but then of course, because he was so dedicated, he became super successful. And what the story is telling me is that you can achieve anything if you want. Right. You can just change career completely at any age, at any uh, in any situation and you will be successful if you want to. That's really an inspirational story, actually. Wow. OK. Um, we start off with inspiration. Let's maybe continue in something similar. Mm -hmm. What's your motivation? What's your drive? What keeps you going? My drive. Um, I want to be helpful to people and I know it's a very cliche answer but <laughs> for me it's really related to my family because my parents are surgeons and from my very early years I've been surrounded by my parents patients especially my mother's uh, cancer <laughs> patients and every time they would see my mother they would be so happy and grateful like I remember we would go somewhere along the street and then suddenly people literally jumping on my mother thank you so much ah. thank you for helping us and of course uh, i cannot you know not do anything important so that's why i really want to help people i'm not a doctor i'm not a clinician but i'm doing the drug discovery so hopefully i will be able to help people somehow well, you don't actually have to be a doctor to help people but you are doing just as much and even more in your own path so thank you so much for choosing that as your drive to help people i hope that i will do something for people yeah. <laughs> i think you already do good okay um has your work changed your perspective on life uh maybe because uh, i work in academia i think i was very naive before I'm not naive anymore before starting, before working. starting working in academia. Yeah, my whole life I wanted to be a professor and I thought that once I become a professor, then I will change life. I will cure cancer. I think every every person thinks the same yeah, way at some point. But what I uh, realized is that it is uh, very difficult, especially for female scientists, for young scientists. There are a lot of people who support me, especially at City University of Hong Kong, mm -hmm. but uh, still 
you all sometimes you meet people who don't consider you worthy because of your gender or because of your age or both and also academia is a quite a toxic place mm. people are obsessed with hirsch indices with uh, impact factors and sometimes it's more important than the actual research mm -hmm. that you do so probably not probably for sure i became less naive mm -hmm. yeah okay so it does it change the way you are in everyday life or is this naivety gone only in the workplace no no it changed everyday life as well because i realized that uh sometimes you have to be strict sometimes you have to be really like insistent mm -hmm. and i think i became a harsher person after <laughs> i started to work in academia yeah you really sometimes need to stand your ground yeah yeah absolutely i agree with that especially as women right yeah, yeah. Especially i as was women much softer before in yeah. science in research in med in stem well basically in STEM, yeah yeah we stand together in this yeah <laughs> not easy for women in stem sometimes but yeah we should stand together yeah absolutely okay um now let's switch from the philosophical and deep questions <laughs> to something silly what's your favorite food my favorite food <laughs> i think you will be surprised by the answer chicken feet really yes are you surprised somehow uh now i live in asia right yeah and uh, it's quite a common food in hong kong or uh -huh. in china but i ate chicken feet when i was uh, in russia and in europe before. because that's it yeah in russia they eat it too not everywhere but my mother my mother likes them so when i came to hong kong and i go to when i go usually to this uh, local restaurants with local people and then they ask me do you want to try <laughs> sure i love it yeah so they are surprised that you are supr not surprised yeah, by it exactly, right exactly <laughs> exactly i really like chicken feet but also of course i i miss russian food so whenever i have a chance to mm -hmm. to eat it i would yeah what would you pick like out of all the russian foods uh, something that is like a comfort food maybe we have a uh, one salad that is called fish under the fur coat and uh, that that would probably might be my I like comfort it. food i love it actually yeah, yeah i do yeah <laughs> it's a new year food but yeah, yeah it like is it. it is it is very symbolic yes <laughs> salad for new year yes okay and maybe the last question for today is what a piece of advice you have ever received? I think believe in yourself. Do not uh, listen to toxic people when they tell you that you will not succeed because you are too old, you are a woman or any other reason. Mm. You can succeed uh, if you really want to. And I really believe it. I really believe this. I join in your in believing that and hopefully lots of other people will start believing in themselves after this interview we had with Dr. Maria Babak. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you. And stay tuned for further walk and talks with Dr. Markarian. See you. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.